everybody, Chris Crest here. So welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about, again, my Ruger SFAR 16-308 that I picked up from Brownells last year. It is currently 2024, so happy New Year to everybody watching this video. Let's go ahead and talk about it. So I have a lot to unpack in this video. So I'm gonna try to do this as quickly and as efficiently as I can. So a few weeks back, I released a video showing me shooting my Ruger SFAR 308. I have around 200 or so rounds through it so far. And I was having a little bit of issues, first off with some gassing, which I've had that from the get-go. And they say that that kind of works itself out over time. And it is kind of ammo dependent. So I wasn't so worried about that. But what I started having happen was mm. some failure to eject the shell and very weak ejection and uh, maybe I'll roll in a little bit of footage of that shooting experience just so you can see what I'm talking about at the time when I posted the video I wasn't exactly sure what was happening but upon further inspection I found that one of the two ejectors on the bolt face was actually stuck in place so I went from having two ejectors to only one so that totally explained the weak ejection as well as the cases getting stuck in the chamber or not in the chamber, in the chamber area, not being ejected out of the chamber and then jamming up the next round loading in from the magazine. So just for the YouTube main reviewer, I don't have any firearms here in place. I'm not showing any disassembly or anything such of that nature or any modifications. And what I'm showing here strictly is maintenance and troubleshooting related. All right, so with that out of the way, uh, I reached out to Ruger right away as soon as I figured out the problem. And uh, very easy to deal with. Got somebody in North Carolina, uh, Moyoc, uh, which is where the Ruger S4 is actually manufactured at. Told them my issue. I told them that, yeah, you know, I, I, I do know how to work on this. It's no problem. They said, okay, no issue. We'll send you the replacement ejector parts as well as the upgraded gas regulator. I did explain that I was having some gassing issues and uh, asked them if I could maybe get the updated regulator. So anyways, after about two or so weeks went by and they sent me an envelope and it came with, I'll just go ahead and kind of show you guys on camera here, came with a new roll pin for the ejectors, uh, two new ejector springs, the updated gas regulator, and two new ejectors themselves. Now the ejectors themselves were not an issue. However, what was an issue was the springs. So I'll kind of show this as best I can on camera. But if you look at these springs, they were kind of kind of kinked up. Uh, if you look at them, they're, they're a little deformed. Okay, And uh, I'll roll in some steel pictures just so you can see those. And actually one of these feels physically shorter than the other one. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this was the one that was stuck in place and uh, it does have the same amount of coils. It's just kind of kind of mangled up. So uh, not really sure what the deal is with that. Uh, however, I was very happy when they sent me new ejector springs and uh, the ejectors themselves, uh, not really a lot going on there. There's nothing, no chips, no cracks, no deformations uh, so they're actually probably usable parts uh, so I'm gonna keep these as some spares and then the roll pin itself that joker there is it actually the funny thing is when I pulled this thing out it looked like it had been messed with at some point so I don't know uh, I'll kind of see if you can see that on camera here but um, it is uh, 
definitely seen some better days this roll pin. Again, got some new ejector parts, so I'm gonna start off totally fresh with brand new parts in the bolt. They did tell me on the phone, they said that they could not send me a replacement bolt because these are fitted rifle by rifle, probably talking about the head spacing if I had to guess. But in any event, the bolt itself looks perfectly fine. The extractor looks good. Uh, extraction was not an issue, it was only the ejection. You can see the uh, dual ejector holes there. I will roll in some stills, of course, of that. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the replacement gas regulator. So here's the original one, and you can see it's got a lot of carbon fouling on there, and then here is the brand make a new replacement one. And uh, so this has four gas settings. One of those is off, so it's really three usable settings. So you have holes for gas setting number one, you have holes for gas setting number two, and gas setting number two, from my understanding, is what they made the change with the gas regular, so it is slightly larger, and I can physically see that uh, when comparing the two regulars. And again, I'll try to roll in some stills on that. And it looks like gas setting three, the port for that looks pretty much the same. So one of the things I also want to do with this uh, while I have it out is I'm actually going to uh, color fill in the numbers because they're a little hard to see through the rail setup that I'm currently using. Just wanted to kind of give a report. Uh, great job on Ruger for sending me out these parts. Uh, very easy to deal with as far as customer service aspect of that. You know, looking forward to getting these parts replaced and back out of the range. Uh, I've been kind of on a hiatus the last few weeks, haven't had any range time, been traveling, I've been sick, all that fun stuff. So uh, looking forward to uh, uh, kind of getting back to some of my projects like this Ruger S4. My plan is this year to get this thing running 100%. Uh, the gas regulator itself, this is my last uh, kind of go around with the gas regulator stuff. My plan is if I still have some problems, I may just swap it out for one of the rifle speed versions. So hop, he was able to get his running uh, really nice using that. And uh, I've been wanting to use one of those particular gas regulator setups or adjustable gas block setups for a while. So maybe this is my opportunity to try that out. But in any event, I wanted to try and see if I could make do with the Ruger replacement parts first before I went down the, that path. So just to address some of the thoughts that some of you guys are probably having in the room right now, a lot of people expect stuff to run 100% out of the box, and I'm with you 100% on that. However, these are known to have a little bit of growing pains. You know, I, I knew fully going into this that I may experience some issues. I'm hoping that Ruger continues to innovate on this particular platform. I think they, they, they truly have a winner on their hands if they can get some of the bugs dialed out. And I have seen a lot of people comment that they have absolutely no problems with theirs. So, you know, it just kind of is what it is. Uh, luckily for me, I welcome a challenge and, uh, you know, trying to um, uh, walk through problems like this. Any questions or comments, definitely put those down below. Um, what are your thoughts on this whole adventure that I got myself on with this Ruger S4? Uh, like I said, awesome rifle so far, but uh, other than <laughs> some of these headaches I've had, so uh, looking forward to, you know, I, I again, I welcome the challenge and, um, you know, really having a good time with this thing, even though I'm having <laughs> a little bit of trouble so but it definitely makes things interesting all right i appreciate y'all watching today's update video on my ruger s far that I picked up from brown Hills. definitely check those guys out and tell them i sent you if you head over to my website you can use my affiliate links and it does help out the channel of course more to come on the ruger s far my goal this year is to get this thing running a hundred percent i'm not quite ready to dump the ruger gas block but we'll see so I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about what Ruger did. And of course, big thanks to them for being responsive, great customer service, sending me the parts that I needed to try to rectify some of the problems I've been having with this rifle so far. And uh, stay tuned for a uh, range update video before too long, hopefully here in the next few weeks. Uh, I've been really busy around the holidays and stuff, so just trying to get back into the swing of things. Anyways, any questions or comments, please put those down below. And as always, I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing, and I will catch you all in the next video. Y'all take care.